everyone, it's Ryan, and welcome to an all-new QuintelDesigns.com HD video tutorial. I was searching on the web for an easy way to make swooshes, swirls, and twirls in Illustrator, and I couldn't find a tutorial that was short, easy to understand, and to the point. So, I'm here to show you how to do it. I've figured it out myself, and um, a really fun effect. Let's fire up Illustrator and get started. In Adobe Illustrator, you can make a new document, whatever size you like. First, let's make a box. We're going to select our rectangle tool and click once on the canvas. In it, I want you to create a width of 200 points and a height of 20 points and hit OK. So you'll get this long, flat rectangle. And this is where we're going to use the direct selection tool to work some magic. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better. First I'm going to select the bottom right corner. Click that and hit delete. That's right, delete. So now we have this incomplete box. Now we're going to select the top right corner and holding down the shift button on your keyboard tap the down arrow once. Now the idea behind this is let me show you a ruler for a moment. Illustrator, when you hold down shift, moves in 10 point increments. So when we made this 20 points tall, holding shift and moving once, cut it perfectly down the center. And that's what we want out of Illustrator perfection. You can delete those guides and continue. Now with your white arrow, your direct selection tool, click on the bottom left point and holding down shift, also select your end point there. Now we're going to join these and you can do that by going to Object, Path, and Join or Control J. Now let's flip its colors and get rid of the stroke. And now we have a long pointy point. With this object selected, in your brushes palette, create a new brush. I click on the little new page button to do that. And make a new art brush. Hit OK. All the settings are fine. These are the default settings. And I'll call this tail. And now you can just delete this. That's in your brush library now. Let's select the swirl tool. So click and hold your mouse down on the line segment tool underneath the text tool and you'll see the spiral tool. With the spiral tool you can click and drag and make spirals so sp the spiral part is easy. It's how it looks that's important. While you're holding your mouse down you can use up or down on the keyboard to adjust how much spiral you have. I'm gonna go a little bit more, how about that? Now, with your spiral invisible, select that art brush you just made, and voila! A nice tapered swirl, swoosh, twirl, whatever you want to call it, in Illustrator, all vector, and you can even dial up the weight depending on how much you want. That's about it. Now if you want you can take a pen tool and make a nice swirl or twirl and give that the stroke as well. Turn off the fill color and you can see if you position and rotate your objects it's pretty easy to get that uh, very signature look you see on a lot of design sites and blogs uh, all the time. So that's an easy swirl or twirl in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep designing.